Jason Hayes here, product manager for Tremble Realworks. And today we're going to take a look at key plans. You're probably asking, what is a key plan? Well, in Tremble Realworks, if I open Scan Explorer, down in the lower right, you'll notice this overview of the project. So as I move around, you can see which direction I'm looking with this thing here, zoom in. The key plan is this background map of the project. So I can see it here. And if I come up here and click on the key plan tab, I can also see it here as well. And from this tab, I can go in and take basic measurements. And I can also go in and extract points as well. So these points, I could go in and extract these either to RealWorks or to some various file formats. Now, how do I create these key plans? Let's go back to RealWorks and take a look at how I do this. Okay, so now we're back in Trimble RealWorks. Now this project, we've already ran the auto classification, so I can just quickly go in and hide everything except for the walls. So it's going to give us a very nice looking outline. Now, if you didn't have the auto classification run, you could simply open the limit box and do something very similar. You could come in and of the point cloud like so. Uh, but I don't need to do that because I've already run the auto classification. So the next thing that I want to do is set up the screen the way that I want it to look in my key plan. So I'm just going to come over here and change my cloud rendering to intensity just because it gives some nice color. Then I'm going to come over here and view the point cloud from the top. Just click here, go to my top view. Now I want this oriented a little bit different. So what I'm going to do, you'll notice if I rotate around down here in my coordinate gizmo thing, you'll notice that the Z axis isn't going side to side. If I click on the U button on my keyboard, now it gives me freedom to move around. And when I do that, I can move my mouse to the upper left hand corner and rotate around the Z axis. So again, I'm just gonna to go to the top view, then I'm going to the move to the upper left hand corner with my mouse and then rotate this around the way that I want to. I just want to get it pretty straight, so I'm just going to check it against the bottom there. Looks pretty good. Might bump it down just a bit. All right, so now I've got the point cloud the way that I want it to look. I'm just going to come over here to the Home tab. Doesn't matter if I'm in production or registration. Go to the Home tab. Then in the Scan Explorer group, I'm going to click the drop down for the key plan. Now I'm going to choose this option, Generate Key Plan from Current View. I'm going to click on that. And if you look over here now, it's moved from the Models tab in my workspace to the Images, showing all the images in the project. And I can see these key plans here. That's the first one that I just showed you a minute ago. And here's this new one that we just created. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in here and change this key plan name to be Top View Shell, something like that descriptive, just so that I know what it is. Now, if I go back to Scan Explorer, now I've got my original key plan, and I've also got my new one, the key plan shell. Now, you can see clearly that we can have multiple key plans that we can select between on here. Now, there's one more way to create a key plan. I'm just going to minimize that. Actually, we'll just close it for now. I can also go in and just go back to my models tab and click on the work or the project name. And then I can go up here and click on generate key plan from TZF scans. Now the TZF scans are the raw um, scan files that come out of the scanner or if you import data from uh, another scanner, uh, third party, non-trimble, um, it's going to convert those to TZF. So now let's open up Scan Explorer again and see what this new key plan looks like. Okay, so now if I click on my key plan tab, I can see this new key plan and it's created just using the orientation of the project and it's used all of the points in the project. Now, if I go back to RealWorks, if I was to delete any of these key plans here in this tab view, I'm just going to go here, click on the first two and the, the one that I created if I was to delete those and then go back into Scan Explorer, 
and go to the key plan tab, you'd get this message saying no key plan available. Please use RealWorks to generate a key plan. So that's the message that I'll see if I've never created one ever in the project, or if for some reason I've deleted the key plan in the project. Now a tip for using key plans is that they don't always have to be created. Looking down on the project, you can create them from a side view as well. So again, I've got my point cloud displayed the way that I want it. I'm going to go to the key plan and then generate key plan from the current view. Then once my key plan is made, you can see it there. I'm just going to open Scan Explorer. And you can see the key plan here. And if I click on the key plan tab, you can see it here as well. So if you wanted to extract points, and I can also turn off these station labels. If I wanted to extract points just for a specific area or floor of the building, then I could do that as well. So maybe we just want to extract this area right along here. Maybe come over to somewhere along there. I don't know how big that is. And then just click Create. And then you'll notice down in the lower right hand corner, we're going to have a status bar and it's going to start extracting those points out to Trimble RealWorks. Okay, so now if I go to RealWorks, you can see that the points have now been extracted into the 3D view. And that's it. Thanks for watching.